We're sorry for sneaking in so many times, boss. There's no mistaking it. This is the same door as in the palace. Hello, Futaba. You're there, aren't you? Please, answer us. I doubt she'd answer. Alibaba, we know you're there. It doesn't matter if it's through chat messaging, just answer us. You should have told me you were going to come here. In order to steal your heart, we need you to open this door. We can't change your heart otherwise. Please let us in. I'm not mentally prepared, but we don't have a lot of time. You have to do this. Also, wait a second. Why did I bother texting her that instead of saying it out loud? That's easy for you to say. The other you within your heart told us to have you open it. Deep down, you want to open this door, don't you? The other me. Right. We're trying to uphold our promise, but you're the one resisting us. Give me some time. I'll give you like five minutes. That's about all I can give. Ten seconds. <laughs> wow, oh my goodness. I said five minutes, but all right. That's too short. At least minutes, please. Fine, but if boss comes home, we'll kick down the door and enter if we must. Time's up, Alibaba. All right, I'll open it now. Oh, here we go, boys. Makoto Ace Negotiator. Yeah, for real. We need to change her cognition. Better to be completely safe than sorry. So she has to be the one to invite us in. Futaba, please open the door. All right, let's go in. What is this? Medical science, information technology, biology, psychology. These are all technical books. She keeps herself cooped up in a room like this all the time? Where's Futaba? Where could she be hiding? The closet? Where else would she be hiding? She'll shut herself in to the bitter end, hmm? Skull, open the closet. Even if that door's opened up, we'll get stopped again inside. I bet a fence or something formed right in front of the treasure now. Th th this makes no sense. Explain yourself. Whoa, she talked. <laughs> we needed to change your cognition. Unless we do so, we can't steal your heart. I highly doubt she would understand it, even if we explained it to her. So basically, my cognition is being a hindrance, keeping you away from the core of my cognitive world? Huh? She understood it? Not everyone is as dense as Ryuji. Why do you know about that? Who are you? Uh. Why'd you call yourself Alibaba and make things more complicated? If you wanted help, you could have just asked for it. Because I was embarrassed. Huh? Oh, m my bad. I didn't catch that. Because I was embarrassed. I think I get it. Asking someone for help isn't that easy. Futaba, can you tell us more? How do you know about the cognitive world? Because I knew about it. Oh, that reminds me. Boss was talking about cognition or something before, right? You think this is related to how he was getting grilled by that one lady? Perhaps her mother was researching this cognitive science that was mentioned? Cognitive science with a PSI in front? Less science, more supernatural? That's important. Well, that certainly got her attention. It seems we're on the right track. So, cognitive science? Futaba, 
What was your mother working on? I have a sneaking suspicion that Futaba is probably going to be our Psy uh, element character. Just a thought. Please tell us. What happened? Chaos copy daddy or Richie? That's like an actual impossible choice. Cannot be done. Choice cannot be made. She's not answering. Shouldn't we do this later? She seems to have gone through some shit in the past. No, we do it now or it's never going to get done, Ryuji. True. She did say things like, die. Hold on. Futaba-chan, did you really kill your mother? Whoa, you moron! Wasn't her death an accident? What actually happened? Maternity neurosis? Is that really true? On. We saw what your heart is like, but we still can't figure anything out. The mother that Boss told us about is completely different from your cognition. We want to hear the truth from your mouth. My mom was... The one who killed her was... It's possible that she can't remember because her heart has become distorted. I'm so sorry, Futaba-chan. I, um... A lot happened, so... I'm sorry. There! Now steal it! <laughs> What's gotten into you all of a sudden? C come on! Hurry it up! Are there no clothes in your closet? Where are your... Oh, no. The closet has two doors. Okay. I really hope that a lot of clothes are on the other side of that closet. We did come to steal your heart, but it, it's not really done right here at this moment. All you really had to do was open that closet door. I'm sorry we made you jump to conclusions. You don't have to be like that. Futaba is voiced by the same person as Mogilu? It's been a minute since I played Berseria, so I didn't pick up on it, but I also haven't heard Futaba's voice enough. If I had heard it more, I might have noticed. I see. No, wait! You went back in. No, you don't understand. We still need the door to be open. <laughs> it's very important. What's the meaning of this? Did you guys trick me? No, we just, there can't be, like, any doors or anything blocking. It makes it really difficult. There's a lot of science mumbo-jumbo with the PS. No, please listen. There's a reason we had to do this. She's aware of the cognitive world, but it seems she doesn't understand how a change of heart occurs. Uh, can one of you nerds just, like, say, listen, we can change your heart but we have to change your cognition of being hidden. So you have to open the door and like step out and not shut the door again. Um, Futaba, how much do you know about the cognitive world? I know that there's another world based on cognition, but I don't know how to get there. Can you guys go there? You said you saw my heart earlier. Yes, that's right. How do you do it? You see, well, this long-nosed, cool-eyebrowed, bloodshot-eyed elf boy in a good suit in a prison gave me a magical phone app that allows me to go into the cognitive world. It's really complicated. We use a smartphone app. <laughs> An app? Yeah, you can do anything nowadays, man. Technology is wild. Yes. By entering the required information, we can go to the cognitive world. I know that only the main character knows about the Velvet Room and Igor. It's called a joke. A 
name, a place, and a distortion. Those three. So in this case, Futaba Sakura, Sojiro Sakura's house, and... Don't, uh, Ryuji, I swear if you activate it right now by being an idiot, I'm going to lose my mind. Futaba, you don't happen to have this app, do you? Uh, I don't. Thank goodness. Okay, then. Can you take me with you, too? Uh, can you take someone into their own palace? Or would that, like, break the matrix, kind of? <laughs> I was going to say no. Uh, I got to agree. Just leave this to us. Uh, Ryuji, I just want you to know I appreciate you agreeing, but your statement had no, no weight in the matter. It was completely my decision. I'll leave it to you then. Good. And you better not forget about our promise, all right? Oh, yeah. Almost forgot. Why are we leaving? We still have to get her to open the door again, don't we? Persona 4 is all about taking someone into their own palace or whatever it's called. Oh, that's cool. I'll play that eventually. The treasure's not going to appear if we don't have a read this. Hmm? A calling card? It's the one you prepared. Read it. I can't read it. It's too dark. I need you to open the door anyways. Just come out. It's embarrassing. What? I'll make sure she reads it, so you guys go on ahead. Futaba, make sure you read it, okay? Okay. Let's see. Futaba Sakura has committed a great sin of drowning in sloth. Ah, so you're the sin of sloth. I actually completely forgot that all the palaces have a basis of one of the seven deadly sins. I'm glad you brought it back up. So that means we had, uh, we've done Lust with Kamashita. They added an eighth sin with Vanity for Madarame for some reason. And then uh, with Kanashiro, what was his, Greed? Probably greed. And then this is sloth. So what do we got left? Pride, envy. Pride, envy. What else is there? Gluttony. That's three. Am I missing one still? What's the other one I'm missing? There's a fourth one, isn't there? I'll think of it eventually. Thus, we will rob every last bit of those distorted desires. <sighs> No, I'm going to die. Good. Kind of sure it was gluttony. Oh, right. That's right. I remember now because I was thinking, like, why is he gluttony instead of greed? Okay, you're right. So we've done gluttony. So that leaves greed, pride, greed, pride, envy. There's one I'm forgetting. What is the other one? Wrath. Meliodas. I started going through the seven deadly sins in my head, like, which one am I forgetting? I'm like, oh, the main character of the show, Meliodas. Wrath, pride, gluttony, greed, envy, sloth, lust, vanity. Thank you, Shadow. Oh, yeah, that definitely sounded like Mogilu right there. Ah, oh, it's time! Life will change. The palace's security level is so high, I can feel it from all the way out here. Futaba seemed totally up for getting her heart stolen. What's up with this? Huh, something about this place really is unusual. Either way, there's only one thing for us to do now that we've set the calling card. Heck yeah! No matter what we gotta face, we're gonna take that treasure for sure. But 
For the team for this fight, let's take Joker, Skull, Morgana, and uh, Makoto for this fight. I think Makoto is our highest level other than Joker, and I want to use Skull. Also, I know I can fast travel to the end of the thing, but since it's such a straight shot and uh, Life Will Change is playing, I'd rather listen to Life Will Change. It's so good. Galissopod, hello. Welcome to the stream. You're here just in time for the boss fight. Out there. Swatting lies in the making. Can't move fast without breaking. Can't hold on or life won't change. Yes. Can't stay here long though. Let's get over the treasure once we're rested up. Will do. Save the game before we get in here. All right, you know what? This is actually the best opportunity. I have drank way too much Gatorade in this stream so far. I need to use the restroom. Uh, for those of you watching on YouTube, I'll never remember to edit this out as normal, so I apologize. For those of you watching on Twitch, I will be back in just a moment. I'll leave you to this amazing music to uh, tide you over until I'm back and it's time to fight Futaba. I will be back shortly. Oh, this music never gets old. I'm back. Sorry about that. Let's go. Let's go. Bodily functions and all. Can't live without them, sadly. All right, let's get it. Hey. I hope she read the calling card. I mean, after all the trouble we went through, she better have read it. I did unmute, right? Yes, I did. Okay. Yeah. All right, it's open. Well, yeah, Futaba Chan opened the door herself. Anyway, the treasure is up ahead. Let's finish this. Shining pedestal. Let's get it, boys. Incredible. So, this is the place that represents Futaba's room. Yep, this is the heart of a hacker, all right. Anyway, where's the treasure? I'm getting a strong signal from above us. The treasure is definitely manifested. There's no knowing what may lie ahead. So let's be vigilant as we push towards the treasure. Treasure words. This way. All right. Are there any? Uh, yeah, there are items I can steal. Perfect. The more money I can make, the better. I am a poor boy. Somewhere. Keep calling my teacher to do maid services for me. It takes forever. Wait, someone sees me? Oh, what the heck? I didn't think that there were any enemies once you went to a treasure room. This is very less than ideal. I honestly wasn't even paying attention because I didn't think any enemies would spawn, like, ever. I really wish that it was Yusuke's turn and that Yusuke was even here, which he is not. I just need to get to Joker's turn and then Mabufu them with uh, Jack Frost. 